mass and sperm. Alright fuckers, time to die. Wait, is today not a school day? Dang, Isabella. There's no school today. Hmm. Looks like we'll have to wait till Monday to capitalize on the hot new TikTok trend of harmless experimental prank videos. Jeez. Um... Well, on Monday they're holding an assembly on the dangers of social media addiction. We can do it then. Excellent idea, Isabella. You just put me in the mood for some Israeli taco. What? Oh, hey, Baljeet. Looks like we'll have to wait till Monday to police the library for unwanted sexual advances. Ooh, that's too bad. The thought of a girl interacting with someone without me there to protect her is harrowing. That's very honorable and selfless, Belgeet. I have much to learn from you. Burr. Ooh. Howdy, Buford. Looks like we'll have to wait till Monday to utilize the Media Center for our experimental Rick and Morty-inspired animation project. Gosh darn it. I wanted to show you all the low-effort humor ideas we can use when we find ourselves wallowing in the bellows of civilizational humor. I think we're already there. Please expound. Wait, where are Phineas and Ferb? <laughs> Burning in hell, probably. That's them over there on the floor. That heterocytical ball sack over there murdered them. Wait, Isabella, did you get that on video? Um, let me check. Oh, yeah. Phineas and Ferb were murdered in the background of your choreographed intro dance. How righteously excellent. We can monetize the footage while raising awareness of increasing violence in public schools. Oh, uh, guys? Uh-oh. New kid, do something. Bang. <laughs> this is a weird Nerf gun you got from your dad, Isabella. Um, he says he needs it for the raid swarm? He must not like wasps. Uh, guys? Maybe we should go. What a savorously creative thought, Belgeet. You guys leave. Bang, 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 bang. Guys, a divination profounded unto me through divine providence. Isabella, start recording. I managed a terse but fruitful communication with the formerly unknown Amogai tribe from the unmolested depths of the Amazon rainforest. They told of a white man, German man, who fell from the sky, speaking nonsense, cutting down trees, digging in the soil, every day a new tool the Amogai couldn't understand. They described rudimentary Bronze Age level tools gifted to them by the man as alien technology. They spoke of a day where he pranced upon them, began speaking in a tongue they did not recognize but could understand perfectly. Speaking to God as they put it, they couldn't make sense of his actions, but this man was laying the groundwork for a large scale deforestation project to begin excavating land for an eventual rare earth element mining operation. The Amokai did not understand this technology, but they could understand how unesthetic it all was. In their next opportunity of communication, they demanded they never lay sight on him ever again. He agreed. He agreed to never be seen again by them ever again, but demanded a task be completed in exchange. He weaved a tale, a tale of two evil children, who lend their idle hands to crafting advanced technologies beyond any human comprehension. The devil's technologies. Their devil's technologies. The same technologies the German man was using to destroy their home. He claimed the purpose of this mine was to proliferate such unnatural technologies. They agreed. He beguiled his way into their hearts and sold them a fiction in exchange for a savagely murdered Phineas and Ferb. The Amogai believed every word, and they agreed to murder Phineas and Ferb. 
and you and I, Isabella, we witnessed the savage murder in real time. At the end of our communication, I understood the plight of the Amogai tribe far more thoroughly than they ever could. But they were locked in a mental harmonium with myself. They assumed an understanding of their own aesthetic. A critical self-awareness. A level of self-awareness far too great a burden for their weak, introspective capabilities. Consequently, their worldly bodies were smited by a higher power. All passed away from their injuries. Hmm, can you cut that down to under 30 seconds? Even better, we can split it up into a 17-part series. Ooh, it's a shame we couldn't protect an underprivileged minority. Huh, <laughs> you're goddamn right, Baljeet. Truly a lamentable tragedy. A wise extraplanar entity once imparted a perspective thread unto me. Ahem. When the mind fails to interpret a reasonable facsimile of solution, one must look to divine art to find an inspiration with a summation greater than any human expression. Like when Rick and Morty are backed into a corner and Rick pulls out a cool invention to save the day. Exactly right, Buford. I can always count on you to orate water into wine. Well then, all our spirits are aligned. Destiny manifest. We will posthumously bring justice to the Amogai tribe. How? Ooh, we could try therapeutic group meditation. Belgeet, you are most wise. Everybody close their eyes and shut the hell up. Of course, guys. Look at the sign. Oh, yeah. Amogus Day. Exactly. That wasn't there yesterday when I left school. And look up across the street. Um, I think that's where we'll find him. Hey, great critical thinking skills, Isabella. Where would we be without your clairvoyant abilities? Let's go. Okay, Baljeet. Hold this. There's only one nerf dart left. You'll know when to use it. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, children in school. Shut your fucking trap. Who do you think you are? We know all about you. Amogus Day. Ever heard of it? What? How do you know about the Amogai? Well, um, your little Amogai friends killed two of our friends. Phineas and Ferb. Ever heard of them? What? That's impossible. Then, if so, then what's that up there? What? That's my experimental... Amogasinator! And what is it pointing directly at? That's Danville Elementary! Oh my goodness! This cannot be! The Amogai are violent and territorial people! The Amogai amongst children! Might just lead to a double murder. Baljeet! Bang! Baljeet! Baljeet. Baljeet. Hold your fire, you fucking moron. Okay. Oh, I thought you wanted me to shoot. Baljeet, you're the dumbest fucking person I've ever met. Do you know how pretty this dude's daughter is? I am... How, how, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to talk to her now? You, you, you know what, Belgeet? Hey, Belgeet, don't go to school on Monday. 